What's up, y'all? It's your girl, KB, and I'm back. Happy New Year to all of you guys. I wanted to go ahead and jump off with this video that was going to be a part two to the whole don't throw your friends away uh, video. And then I realized sometimes giving people instructions for symptoms is not helpful at all. So it's kind of like when you have a cough. You could take some throat lozenges, right, to help soothe the cough. But at the end of the day, if you have a cold, them throat lozenges ain't gonna get rid of nothing. So what you want to do is you want to treat the cold by taking cold medicine. Don't get lost in the analogy, okay? So in this video, I'm going to give you the one, the one piece of instruction that applies to any other additional piece of instruction that I give you. And I mean, this is the solution to a bunch of stuff. When you're navigating friendships that are one-sided, when your friend goes ghost because they have a romantic interest. When someone's giving you the silent treatment. After you done watch that R. Kelly series. When you wake up in the morning and you get on your feed and your iPhone tells you that another senseless death has happened to an innocent child. When you're offended by one of your friends because they made a joke that really, really hurt you but you kind of had to play it off in the moment like it wasn't a big deal. When you're straight up frustrated because you're in a relationship that is disappointing you right now because you have unspoken expectations. When you're in church and that same topic continues to surface and it continues just to make you a little bit uncomfortable. Again, when you don't understand why stuff is shut down and what the heck is happening in all of this political world that we live in. When you're still wondering why Flint doesn't have clean water. When one of my videos makes you feel some kind of way. The one piece of instruction I'm gonna give you is wrapped up in three simple words. Three, talk about it. That's the answer. Listen, it's the answer to all it is. Mind blown right now. <laughs> Listen, honestly, I am very surprised about how many people on a regular basis are DMing me or talking to me about what the heck they have going on. And the number one question that I ask all of them is, have you actually had a conversation about it? And sometimes the answer is yes, but more often than not, the answer is, well, kind of, sort of, not really. Like I was going to, but like that, and I'm like, Listen, the heart combo has to happen. It has to happen. Before we can do anything else, you gotta talk about it. You just, you do. You have to try to talk about it. Half the stuff that I'm sharing with you guys on this platform are really how to's when it comes to talking about stuff. <laughs> Y'all are like, man, should I cut them off or is it time for the relationship to end? I'm like, not if you ain't talked about it. <laughs> over and over and over again. Because the truth of the matter is, I can talk boundaries, I can talk perspective, the nature of other people, I can give you the four stages of adaptation, relationships, friendships, trash friends, honesty, and everything else. It's like if you're not willing to actually talk about it in the context of what you have going on, and not just with me or with other people, but in the actual situation itself, if you're not willing to talk about it or talk through it, then none of this works. And quite frankly, don't none of it make sense, to be honest. So. When we started this whole thing in November, we started with identifying what we don't want because that's always the easiest thing to call out. I don't know what I want, but I know what I don't want. Trash friends. That's where we started. Then we moved to identifying the areas in our life that we needed to be honest, not only with ourselves, but with other people and about where we were and where we wanted to go. And now we're starting the year off with a declaration and a commitment to talk about it, whatever it is. Honestly, it's a whole lot happening in our culture right now. And I think the root of all of it is that people don't want to have the conversation. We're breaking all of that, all of that up in here. And we're encouraging people to have the conversation. Why? Because it's not a hard conversation, y'all. It's a heart conversation. I love y'all. I really do. Until next time.